Let's go shoot the show. Right? Normally the sun follows me. The sun shines out my asshole. Wow, that's uh, that's a definite confession. I'm a rainmaker. I make shit happen. All the people don't necessarily like what happens, but you make it happen. So back to Aristotle, you were what, what no, you, no, Mr. Onassis had died before I I, I was with the uh, yeah. Onassis group. Constantine Grazos, who was the CEO. After Mr. Onassis died, and he was the head of the Christine Onassis Trust, he was my mentor. He was one of my mentors. How'd you get hooked up with him? I was in a meeting, uh, all trading meeting, um, and this little uh, well-dressed, really bon vivant, raconteur type guy walked in, and he, he's listening to the meeting for about two, three minutes, and he walked out. Mm -hmm. And I said, who the fuck's this, this guy? And he says, oh, that's uh, Mr. Uh, Grazos. And I said, well, and who is he? Uh, Mr. Grazos was the right hand. All the stuff I just told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, well, uh, okay. So I said, I thought to myself, well, I got to see this guy. I got to meet this guy right away. So uh, we had a series of meetings for three, four days. On the second or third day, if I recall, I'm looking around for his office because no, he got no names on the doors. And I, there's a crack in the door, and I see through his receptionist's office to his office, I see him. So I, I knock on her door and I let myself in. I said, oh, I'd like to meet Mr. Grazos. Oh, do you have an appointment? And he said, no. And I said, and he saw me through the crack in his door. And he goes like this to come in. And he had an apple, an orange, and a pear in a, on a little plate on his desk. And um, and he said, sit down. I said, and I said, uh, what are you doing for lunch? I hope it's not that, Mr. Grazos. He laughed. He says, the doctors say that's what I should eat. But I, I'm easy, so uh, you want to go to lunch?